Oh, number five. Hilarious racism. I love it. Okay. This is an article on Gameskinny.com. Uh, written by Ashley Triple S. Oh, people pick pseudonyms on these sites. Anyway, so Super Dota Six, 2. At least it's not about the latest Game of Thrones episode. Yeah, I don't go to right? Kotaku for my Game of Thrones news. Oh or my anywhere, God. I don't IGN watch Game is of Thrones. The fucking worst. IGN, you, their opening page is like 60% television, 10% uh, re reality television, and fucking 30% gaming. It's retarded. Anyway, so Dota 2 TI 2016 open qualifiers marred by racism and Valve's poor oversight. So here's how it breaks down. Anybody who has a group of people together can register uh, to take part in the Dota 2. And then, of course, it's a qualifier. You have to qualify. And <laughs> there's no regulation. There's no filters. There's no nothing. So one team got by calling themselves the Alabama niggers. <laughs> Just like random, straight popped up on the screen. Up next for the qualifier, Alabama niggers. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> settle down with the hard ERS there. All I'm right. a white and person. Yeah, so that's why you can't say it. <laughs> no, right? it's not. I, I'm not saying anything malicious. They said it, not me. Yeah, but somebody <laughs> meant it awfully maliciously. He's saying Maybe. it via proxy. Yeah. Yes, understand. Um, um, <laughs> all right. When I first started playing games, one of the first games I played was Unreal Tournament. And I went by Lesbian Devil Whore from the Ooh. cover of a Lords of Acid CD Ooh. that I found beside the computer I was playing on. So I was like, that's a lesbian devil whore. Let's do it. Blam, bam. And they wouldn't say my name at tournaments. They'd be like, Let Nate, Nate, <laughs> come on up. So, I mean, Valve needs to get some oversight on everything they do. I mean, seriously, I love Steam. Steam's the greatest thing ever as far as PC gamers are concerned, and I'm, I'm no different in that. But holy shit, maybe have some oversight somewhere, anywhere, on one particular aspect of your business, just one, pick one and then have some oversight because how do you even let that slide? How did nobody, nobody notice that there wasn't even like some other nerd who was like, Hey, you see these fuckers names. Maybe we should say something No, All right, cool. Well, just wasn't it just a few months ago in the last Dota tournament, we re we reported on it. They fired a commentary mid a commentator mid show even though he was once a commentator for them, turned out to be an unapologetically rude prick, and they brought him back and then fired him mid-show. Valve doesn't really know what they're doing when it comes to uh, these things. It seemed easier than getting another guy. God. <laughs> well, dude, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I say this with every company ever. Hire somebody to do that shit for you. Don't be retarded. Don't act like you're not a billion-dollar company and you can't hire somebody to hire people for you or run a damn filter. How hard is it to create a filter? That's they, how Valve makes so much money, Mark. They, they have don't employ hundreds anybody. of programmers. That's it. That's all they employ. Okay, but he can't create a filter that doesn't let N-word through or fuck or bitch or cunt or something? It would seem pretty no, basic. They, they can, but they didn't. It does seem pretty basic because, you know... It's basic. <laughs> you can just type words, in the like, ten this words. Can't be, this can't be in the fucking name? Mm. And it wasn't well, as yeah. if, if they were trying to hide it. It was just blatant right there. Bam. Mm. It wasn't even like they were putting numbers in it to try to confuse you a little bit or something like that. Nah, it was just, <laughs> just here it is. What you think about that? That's who we want to be. And yes, they could have, Mark. They are literally a company of computer programmers. But... They didn't. They didn't they want to. They were just like themselves. freedom of speech and stuff. I mean, I feel you on the freedom of speech joint, but for somebody that's catering to children as well as adults, you would think you wouldn't want to have that being thrown out there like that. I'm just saying. Well, they'll handle it the way they handle most things. What Valve does is once they get themselves into trouble. Uh, Gabe Newell will call somebody a prick or something and make it all go away. 
because that's that's just what he does. He's be like nonchalant ten, motherfucker you yeah, ever and met. There'll be like ten more Gabe Newell memes, and mm-hmm. then it'll be gotten. Yep. That's I it. don't even know who that is, so that's cool. He's the guy oh. who created Valve and subsequently Steam. Okay. Uh, he's well, a chubby white nerd. All right, well, good, that. good for you, chubby white nerd, to make Valve. Um, I mean, he's, he's got bank, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, you know, he, he doesn't he own Steam, so I'm sure he makes dough. But that still doesn't mean you can't spend a day, have one of your hundreds of programmers go through and be like, make sure. N words and bitches and fucks and cunts aren't all throughout the names, please. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, it just doesn't seem like that's that hard to me. Oh yeah, Gabe Newell is worth one and a quarter billion dollars. Bam. Gabe, give so, me a dollar, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, so why don't you why don't you spend ten of those dollars and make a fucking filter for your names? <laughs> I mean, I just don't understand. Yeah. That's I'm I mean, not actually I don't know. I'm not like offended by it, but it's whatever. <laughs>